Hello, I'm Dr. Laura Murillo, President and CEO of the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We're very excited to have our next guest. He's president of Houston World Cup Bid Committee, and he's going to talk to us a little bit more about what's going on with the bid and what's going on here in Houston. So please welcome Chris Canetti. Hi, Chris. Hello there. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. And an exciting time uh, for Houston. And uh, it was great to be out over at the uh, BBVA Stadium with uh, the new owner of the uh, Dynamo Dash and all the exciting things that you're doing, especially locally with these students and, and young people who in many ways will be the beneficiaries of a lot of your hard work. Um, so welcome. Welcome to the program. Thank you. appreciate you having me on again. Well, let's talk about, you know, the process. Where are we? Uh, if folks are asking what's going on and uh, what can you tell us? Sure. Just for the folks who uh, may not know, the World Cup is coming to North America in 2026 with uh, 80 matches being played across 16 cities in the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. And Houston wants to be one of the 10 U.S. cities to host uh, approximately six matches in 2026 at NRG Park. So we've been working on this the last two and a half years, we're, we're starting to near the finish line of the process. A decision could come uh, anytime between uh, January and June of 2022. I think we've put Houston in a very positive position uh, to be one of the, uh, the final 10 cities, but uh, you never do know. So uh, we continue to work very, very hard on this process and uh, we got our fingers crossed and we're hoping that uh, at the end of the day, uh, we can call Houston a host city for the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Well, we hope so. And with your leadership and others on the board, let me just say it's been a privilege to serve on the board and to see all of the things that uh, you and the team have done to showcase our great city. And on that note, what do you think are some of the upcoming milestones for Houston? Sure. Well, for, thank you for your uh, participation on the board and your great contributions over the last couple of years. Uh, the board has been fantastic and very supportive. And one of the reasons why I think uh, Houston has been able to elevate its position here. But uh, as we look forward, really, the, the, the most important thing that's going to happen in the process will be a site visit by FIFA officials into Houston. We're in the process of scheduling that right now. At some point, uh, it, it likely looks like October, but this will be their first opportunity as a result of COVID uh, and travel restrictions to get into the city to really see firsthand uh, not only what we have to offer from an infrastructure perspective, but just to get to meet the people and to see the spirit of our city and the, uh, the commitment and the investment that we have made um, and the enthusiasm we have for being a host city in the FIFA, for the FIFA World Cup in 2026. So we're really excited about that opportunity, and uh, we think it's going to further uh, enhance our, uh, our positioning. Well, speaking of positioning, why Houston? In your mind, why are we the perfect city? Uh, there's so many reasons really why we're the perfect city. I can make an argument that no other city uh, in this bid process brings the breadth of uh, just elements that we have to the table. But, um, you know, first and foremost, our location is fantastic. We're an easy city to get into from around the world. The World Cup will draw visitors from all over the globe. Uh, we've got great airports and, you know, great flight um, you know, flights in and out of the city. Uh, and once you're in Houston, uh, you're centrally located in North America to get to all the other cities that will be hosting uh, World Cup matches, in particular, the three cities in Mexico uh, that will be hosting. Uh, so accessibility um, is, is a great and location is a great place to start. But next, we can look at all of the wonderful infrastructure we have from NRG Stadium to NRG Park. Uh, to uh, the hotels, the two international airports, the convention centers, the training sites that we've selected for the teams to practice in our fan fest locations. We really have all the infrastructure. Um, and we also have this great track record. Uh, no other city has hosted more major sporting events than Houston since 2004. So we've got this uh, been there, done that know-how um, to our resume. And we've done it very, very well. And then lastly, I think, you know, Houston is a city that really comes together, unlike no other city around uh, the country, to make big things happen. And, th and that's the spirit I referred to earlier. We really uh, uh, have a community that pulls together in times like these. And I, I hope that FIFA can see that and feel that and, and understand that it will be a major factor in why Houston is a, a great place for them to host their event. Well, we look forward to meeting with them in October. And again, Chris, thanks for all that you're doing. This has been a first class execution on this bid. We'll see you very soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.